Now I will show you how to use the heart software. So after we open the software, we click tools, find the default parameters. We need to change the serial port to the character one. I press OK. Then we need to do the communication check from here. We press read. Okay, so if the connection is succeed, you can see all the basic information of our products here, including the range, display unit. So from the factory calibration chapter, we normally we do not need to do any uh, adjustment. These parameters are already set in our factory. Uh, you can check some information from here, for example, the pressure calibration. You press read. So you can find uh, the temperature. We have five temperature conversation points and uh, 26 pressure calibration points. And then you press read here, you can find more detailed information of what, which temperature we calibrated for this product. Okay, then is the symmetry settings. We have, have a lot of functions. First, we start from the instrument number. From this, you can check the device number, like pulley address, assemble number. We press read. Okay, so this information are set in our factory and uh, for the pony address, we can do the adjustment from uh, 0 to 15. Uh, the default number is 0. And if you want to use other address, you can enter it here and uh, press update. Next is the instrument details. You can see the station tag, station description, and device message or the date. The same, this function is to check uh, the instrument information and usually the users do not need to modify them. But uh, if you want to change the information, you can also enter the information you need for your uh, operations here and uh, press update to finish the, the operation. Next is the rearrange without pressure. We press read. So we can see the initial date of this product. Uh, the range is from minus 1 to 10 bar. And uh, you can change the LRV and the URV from here by input the numbers you press update then you press read to check okay we change the URV and RRV to 328 bar uh, here you need to pay attention this range we must uh, within the RL to URL Next is the two-point trim. When the read pressure value has a little error with the actual input pressure, we need to do some this operation. First, we check the PV lower trim. Okay, you can see PV. Where the PV is. Uh, has a little arrow. Now you should, this number should be zero. So we do the PV lower trim to zero and press PV lower trim. So you can see we have K 
correct the reading here. So the same for the PV high trim and the PV zero trim. Next function is loop out character. By this function, you can choose the output type linear or square root. Press update. Then is the damping time. Damping time. We have options from 0 to 100 seconds. You just put any numbers here. Press update. Okay. Now it's 5 seconds. Next is the filter. This is to cut. We normally use this to cut the small signal. Uh, to make sure the zero output is uh, stable. We cut uh, maybe 10% uh, reading of the uh, zero. To eliminate the effects of the small reading changes. Next is a special parameter settings. Uh, this part is for some special working conditions. Uh, we will not introduce more unless you need to use this part. Next is the SV settings. You press read to check. Okay, this is SV settings. This is to set the pressure reading and the temperature reading uh, switching time. Like SV on C, uh, this is a different uh, unit for the temperature. Like 40%, 40% we 40% time we show the temperature data and the 60% time we show the pressure data so it's a switching uh, period okay next is the monitoring process from here you can see the PV trade, loop trade and the percentage trade uh, curve from here you press start so you can see the curve here you press stop okay next is device reset this function is to reset the parameters to factory settings Online test. The software will try to communication with the device, and uh, the progress bar will show the progress of the current online test. Then the pulling device. Uh, this is online device searching. This is to check how many units have connected to your device. How many units? How many heart units? Last one is stop communication. It's very easy just to stop the communication with the transmitter device. Okay, so that's the main function of our heart software.